first channel showed the preparation of the leader. Camila and coaches Ateri Tubbards and Daniel Glukengos are actively working on a new program, which you will see for the first time at the tournament of show programs of the brightest figure skaters in Russia already on March 18th. The show program tournament is 24 participants, including Olympic champions and world champions in figure skating. All of them will present their new programs especially for you. One of the main stars of Ateri Tubbards, figure skater Daria Yusicheva, is considering switching to ice dancing. Severe trauma letter to such thoughts. Usually, transitions between disciplines at a conscious age do not happen from a good life, and the situation of Daria Yusicheva confirms this. Just a couple of years ago, Dasha was one of the new stars of the Terry Tubbirds group, not the most technical, but certainly gifted. She did not have peace programs, like Camila Voliva, and quadruple jumps, like Anna Shubikova and Alexander Trusova, and yet she stayed somewhere close to them, very close. And among those who do not jump alter C, she was the strongest of all. She began to gain credibility at the junior level. In the 2019 Grand Prix final in Turin, she competed with Voliva, though without quads then, and with the American Alyssa Liu, at that time she was still jumping quad Lutz and triple axle. Lost only to the two of them, having won bronze. Below was, for example, Ksenia Sinicina, now one of the most adult acting figure skaters in Russia, and then a promising junior with the rare triple lutz, triple loop combination in quads in the bud. A few months later, Yusachiva had already become second at the Junior World Championships, displacing Liu by one step with a three-point margin. Voliva was still ahead, but Daria formally did not fight with her. For now. Then the time of Covid came, and figure skating was locked up in the framework of national tournaments. That season, Yusachiva made a real breakthrough, which helped her enter the lead of the national team. She did not start jumping ultra C, although the triple axle and quadruple salkau pact, but the stability in the performance of triple jumps and the same component inherent in her, instantly made her a contender for the highest places. However, the momentary result in her case was hardly an end in itself. If you look at Daria's medalist for the 2020-21 season, it may seem that there have been no dramatic changes in her career. Silver and bronze of the Russian Cup stages, bronze of the final of the series, fourth place of the national championship, although the last one is knocked out of the general row, because the Russian championship in women's singles is incredibly competitive, not bad, although not wow. But if you dig deeper and look at the scores, everything will fall into place. If earlier Yusachiva received an average of about 210 points, then in the COVID season her average score with technical content of similar complexity jumped to 229, 230. About the same amount in her years received, for example, Alina Zajitova and Evgenia Medvedeva. If anyone has forgotten, the Olympic champion and silver medalist of Pyeongchang. After such analogies, it was not easy to get rid of thoughts about the Olympics in relation to Yusachiva, and not only for fans and journalists, but also for the Federation. Probably, the bosses of Russian figure skating still kept Daria in mind at least as a reserve in case of force major, and for this reason they began to pump up her marks in advance. However, the progress of the figure skater herself, without reference to undercover games, should also be noted. There was a feeling that. I can. I'll work hard and it will be even better. I realize that I have a chance. Dasha said in an interview in the spring of 2021. With this feeling, Yusachiva rushed to the accelerated study of the triple axle and quadruple salkau. The presence of these jumps in the arsenal would have turned her from a potential substitute in the application for the Beijing Olympics to a full-fledged contender for getting into the main application, and Daria was aware of this. Over time, intensive training began to lead to health problems, in particular with the hamstring muscle. At the control skates of the Olympic season in Chelyabinsk, after jumping, she was often upset and even cried. As it turned out later, it was an injury. The damage progressed, it was not possible to stop it. With a sore leg, Daria was able to win the silver of the adult Grand Prix in the USA, and was close to getting into the series final. This intermediate goal was extremely important for her both in terms of gaining a rating for subsequent seasons, and in matters of selection for the Olympics. And when it became known that Alexander Trusova did not qualify for the final, withdrew from one of the stages, due to a stress fracture of the foot, getting there would open up additional opportunities for Yusachiva. While Lana Shubikova was still getting in shape after a summer toe fracture, she had a chance at least for second place. And the silver of the Grand Prix final, taking into account the health problems of two contenders for the Olympic trio, is already something. 
True, for this it was necessary to get on the podium at the second stage of the Grand Prix for her in Japan, for which she was completely unprepared, due to problems with her leg that worsened during the season. As a result, at the six minute before the shore program, Daria unpleasantly fell on her hip, and could not get up on her own. Dr. Philip Shvetsky, who was then working with the Tubbirds team, carried her off the ice in her arms, after which the injured figure skater was hastily taken to the hospital. The doctors determined the type of damage very quickly Daria had a fracture of the lesser trochanter. At the same time, the press service of the FFKKR, usually not eager to inform the public about the nature of the injuries of the skaters, for example, the Federation did not report anything at all about Tursova's injury and her removal from the stage in Japan promptly issued a press release where she gave a completely different diagnosis detachment of a ligament of one of the internal muscles of the right leg in the growth zone of the femur. And there were several reasons to doubt it. Firstly, any ligament injuries from the category of avulsion and rupture require surgical intervention. The ligament does not grow together on its own, it must be stitched or attached to the surface. There can be no exceptions to this unless you want to remain lame for the rest of your life. At the same time, Daria gave an interview immediately upon returning home from Japan, and mentioned that she had no operations planned, and the treatment involves peace. Which is typical just for fractures, and certainly not for serious damage to the ligaments. Secondly, the end of the press release the injury does not require a very long treatment, rehabilitation. In 99% of cases, the athlete returns to normal sports activities, in which both proposals are actually refuted. After the injury, Daria was able to return to training only a few months later, but she still has not been able to prepare for the competition. Thus, treatment and rehabilitation take a total of more than a year. Isn't that a very long period? Since Daria still fails to return to normal sports activities and restore her jumping content at least partially, then she, it turns out, falls into this unique 1%. Or was the nature of the injury really different? In any case, with the return to single skating, Yusachiva is not yet getting along. Probably, this is where the option arose with the transition to ice dancing, which the skater is now actively studying. She even tried to pair up with the 2020 Youth Olympic Games champion Dario Churzano, but the guys didn't match in the end. After two or three weeks of trials at the training camp in Dubai, it was decided that the couple would not take place, and growth parameters were named as one of the reasons. Most likely, Daria has not yet made a final decision. This is also indicated by the difficult search for a partner, there are, in principle, few of them in Russia, and the fact that she has not yet left Hubbards. But no matter how the situation develops in the end, I would like to wish Daria to find herself and leave all difficulties in the past. Such an interesting and bright athlete as she is still ahead.